Welcome back, everybody. Ready for another deep dive? Always ready. Today, we're taking a look at Coldplay. A band known for, well, a lot of things. Yeah, massive anthems, those crazy, visually spectacular shows. Right, and dedicated fan base, sold out stadiums, you know the drill. Exactly. But we're going beyond the hits, beyond the lights, to uncover what makes this band, and particularly Chris Martin, tick. And, you know, a, a good place to start, I think, is with that little incident in Melbourne, Australia, a few weeks back. Oh, you mean the trap door? Yeah, the trap door. I mean, yeah. picture it. Packed stadium, everyone's going wild. Chris is in his element, yeah. Totally. And then boom, gone. Vanished into thin air. Or, uh, more accurately, the stage floor. Right. And it's funny, but it also kind of reveals something deeper about their approach to their music, their shows, and, you know, their fans. What do you think? Okay, so, rewind to that night at Marvel Stadium. It was electric, pure energy. Chris was really feeding off the crowd, deciphering those signs, fans hold up, the music's pumping, the lights are doing their thing, and then bam. Mid-song, he takes a step back right into an open trap door. I bet the crowd went nuts. Oh yeah, you could hear a collective gasp. But then the best part, a crew member was right there and sort of caught him mid-fall. Wow, talk about a close call. Seriously, <laughs> could have been nasty. But what does Chris do? Pops back up, dusts himself off, and with a huge grin says, that's uh, not planned? Well, that was nearly a YouTube moment. Classic Chris Martin. Totally. The crowd loved it, a mix of relief and laughter. What could have been a disaster became this shared moment, this connection. And that's really what I think this incident highlights. Chris's quick wit, his ability to just roll with it and turn a potentially embarrassing situation into something lighthearted. It's that authenticity, right? Yeah, makes exactly. you feel like he's just like us, even on that massive stage. Exactly. He doesn't take himself too seriously. It's brilliant. And actually, speaker of trapdoor mishaps, wasn't there something similar with Olivia Rodrigo? Oh yeah, just a month or so earlier at a different venue in Melbourne. Same city, different artists, same trapdoor issue. Maybe Melbourne needs to rethink its stage design. Maybe. But seriously, it's a good reminder that even in these huge, meticulously planned shows, stuff happens. But back to Coldplay, what's fascinating is how they manage to have that spontaneity, that unexpectedness, and still pull off these incredibly intricate performances. Right, it's a balance. I mean, look at their Music of the Spheres tour. It's been a monster success, something like $1.1 billion in ticket sales, sold at stadiums all over the world. These are massive productions, incredibly complex, everything timed to the second. Right, right. And yet, they still manage to weave in these genuine, unscripted moments, like inviting Michael J. Fox on stage to play guitar. Oh yeah, I saw that clip. Pure magic. Or the impromptu street performances in Dublin. So stripped back, so raw, it's like they're constantly reminding everyone that they're just musicians, you know? And that connection with the fans. Exactly. It's not just about the lights and lasers, it's about that shared experience. And I think these moments, planned or unplanned, contribute to that. And let's not forget the irony. Oh, tell me about it. These incidents happened in Australia, a country known for its safety regulations. Right, yeah. It shows that no matter how much you prepare, there's always room for the unexpected. And sometimes those unexpected moments are the best part of the show. Absolutely. It makes you think, doesn't it? Those moments of vulnerability, that sense of humor. Could it be that those actually make the concert experience better, more intimate, more real, even in a massive stadium? It's a good question. It is. And one we'll leave our listeners to ponder. Thanks for joining us for another deep dive. We'll see you next time.